So why do landing zones matter? Uh, why go to all this effort? Uh, well, there are a few reasons. Uh, so I'll, I'll just go through four here. Uh, so one would be standardization. So when you're creating something at scale, if things look quite similar uh, and are done in the same way, then it makes it much easier to support uh, when you've got a very large landing zone. So if you start off at the beginning by doing things in a standard way, that will really pay off later on. This also helps when people are new to the cloud. If you've got a standard way of doing something, then there's no real thought that has to go into working out how to do something. It's simply picking a pattern uh, off the shelf and then using that. So standardization can really help. Another advantage is confidence. So adopting a public cloud can be uh, quite nerve-wracking. Uh, there's a lot of moving parts. It's all quite new. Uh, but by using a landing zone, it can really help with your confidence in cloud adoption because you're following a known pattern. Uh, there's lots of information provided by people like Atvia and uh, also by the cloud provider themselves, like Microsoft, on how to adopt. Uh, so if you're following a pattern that is recognized and well documented, then it gives you more confidence in your own cloud adoption. Next, operational efficiency. Again, kind of coming back to the standardization, if you're doing uh, things in the same way, it can make it much more efficient to operate it. And also things like uh, platform components that are shared between uh, everybody who's using your cloud landing zone. Uh, they can be, all be combined, which saves repeated effort. So people aren't doing the same thing. They can just take those, uh, those existing components and use them. Things like log analytics workspaces, uh, like your hub and spoke network model, like your firewalls, they can just use those. And that also separates out what your application teams uh, are responsible for and what your platform teams are responsible for. Finally, security and compliance. So we talked about this before. Uh, if your organization has specific security uh, requirements and compliance requirements, if you can specify those all out and bake that into the landing zone from the beginning, it makes it uh, much more efficient and uh, that then feeds into your confidence in your cloud adoption. It makes it more efficient. Uh, you've got a standardized kind of off-the-shelf pattern and that all helps to keep things secure and maintain compliance throughout your platform.